So this is Tinkercad, and what we've got here is a muzzle flash suppressor because that's uh, what you need if you've got an alien weapon. Now, um, you can see here is the finished article, and what I'm going to show you is just a couple of tips and tricks that I use uh, to make little widget things like this. So what we do is we start off with a cylinder, um, just 28 millimeters square in this case, and we put a bevel on it of 0.75 and one segment that gives it like a chamfered edge so that's the kind of like the main core of things now these little rings at the bottom what i do for those is i use the uh there's like a tube uh tool not a tube tool a torus tool so that's what these are um and they're just one millimeter and we put those when you put those um onto uh, a unit like this you get like a nice little sort of we're just going to merge that together to show you you get a nice little groove oops they're not centered so uh, we'll use the align tool so we'll group those together use the align center center group again you kind of get like a nice little uh, grooved effect and that kind of groove is sort of small enough that it doesn't sort of trick out the uh, 3d print either so if you do it with a square you normally get a little bit more of an overhang but that kind of curve gives it a little bit of an advantage now the other sort of trick here is to put some some of these uh cutouts in so first of all we want to kind of like a a hole in the middle so we we'll put that in there and then I'll just uh, make sure that's centered with the align tool again we'll group that now to put those grooves in is like quite tricky if you're trying to work out the steps round to do it so what I've got here is basically two squares if I move them to here and I'll I've spaced them out a little bit before actually so if we look at that so that's they're centered and these are just the sort of standard uh, box um, and in fact if I ungroup them you'll see that they've got a oops ungroup that here we go it's so, up ungroup those two and there you see it's a box and it's got a radius on on the box um, with lots of steps to give it a nice little smooth edge now trying to move that round and rotate it is kind of like tricky so what you would do here is i select two of them group them together make them into a hole and then you duplicate so that's now duplicated and it's sort of sitting over the top of the other one and then we just rotate it say like 45 degrees now you don't have to do it again because the duplicate tool knows how to sort of duplicate your duplication and there you go another one and another one and now you've got a nice little ring that's centered and when you group that That gives you this little radial pattern. Now, one of the other, th just waiting for that to uh, do its combination. There you go. And they're sort of scooped out and they're radius. Now, at the bottom, I don't want that thick bevel. So I just make another ring to put at the bottom. But that ring, it's got a smaller radius than the top. But of course, when you merge the two together, and I'm going to align them like so and then group you now get like a large radius chamfer at the top and then like a smaller chamfer at the bottom so that's coming along um, you've got some little cutouts on the side so they're just square boxes and that's obviously put your spanner on to tighten your muzzle flash on so I'll put those two and I'll line them up Again, I'll just center them. 
in the middle like that. Put them in the middle. Group that. We now got the little chamfer cut out on each side. Now, if you look at the Nerf gun, the nozzle itself um, has got sort of like three cutouts in it, and they're equally, equally spaced. So the problem only happens if you want to put a sort of a, a cutout in something. So we're going to say, let's let's take uh, this, and you want it sort of three equals cutouts. The problem is normally that if you try and align this, the centers of that, so if you look at this here, the centers don't line up. So they're kind of like off center and it's like really hard to try and get them centered. So what you do is this tool, this is their circular array that we have. And what you do is you start off with, you just put four in. That's like equally spaced. Now you can align this. So the centers of this four are now aligned with this circle. And then what you do is you just change that one back to three again. Lo and behold, it's perfectly aligned. So now if you group that together, you've got three cutouts and that will then sit on the end of the, uh, on the nerf. A um, couple of other things, we just put a, there is a sort of slight chamfer inside the nerf, so we kind of put one of these in and I'll put it as a hole, put that in the, in the bottom, that'll give you like that chamfered hole, uh, we'll put that in there as well, that's it, actually I'm going to flip that over, in this case, there you go that into there and then of course you won't get the dart to come out of the thing so here we go with that line these all up like so group it together and lo and behold when it kicks in You've got like a little Nerf muzzle flash with a ability to sit on top of your Nerf. Hope you enjoyed that one. And you can download these STLs and um, I put the Tinkercad up as well for public copying as well. So you can break it apart and you might want to change the gaps on the flash or put your own patterns in.